Welcome everyone. We're now in a, another lovely studio uh, with Heather Smith. And this studio, interestingly, is one of our incubator studios located in St. Lawrence College next to your Arts Council offices. So Heather, how long have you been here? Uh, 18 months. Yeah, and how has it it's been an interesting affiliation, I assume, for you? Or? It's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. And um, I've enjoyed having the students around. Um, I, I, at first I wouldn't have thought so, but having the youth around is wonderful and there are days when I'm in here working and the doors open and and people will pop in and say what's going on in here or I want to take what it is that's going on in here because they see something completely different something creative something bright colors mm -hmm. and um, and they're interested in knowing it and and I'm interested in hearing what young people have to say I, I love what you just said because I think that what a lot of people don't recognize is when you walk into an artist's studio, it's like a huge shift in energy. Yes. And they're experiencing that, and it's so different from like the, the kind of in-the-box academics that they're involved with. And I know there's a lot of students taking, you know, police fundamentals and paramedic, and, and it's completely different from the world that I inhabit. Mm -hmm. So they're curious, and it's male and female. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that world that you inhabit. I mean, what we have here is a fairly eclectic uh, selection of different expressions of art. And I wonder um, if you could walk us through uh, what, you, what we've got here in front of us and share with our viewers uh, what type of art form this is. How would you describe it or the different? Well, the, the thing about all of these pieces, um, they're primarily mixed of a mixed media nature. Um, this is a mosaic. It's very much represents an evolution in my work. Um, I like to work on one type of thing for a period of time and then I evolve into something else. I had done a number of these eyes um, that are a mixed media process and um, but at the same time working on these nebulas which is more of a mosaic. This is glass and um, unglazed ceramic tile. Mm -hmm. I've done a number of them in different colors. Uh, they've been popular with people. I really enjoy them. Um, now, with the eye, are it, are it, do you do all this beadwork? Yes, yeah. it's all it's all individually beaded, and I um, I buy different colors of beads, and I create a palette of colors mixed mm -hmm. together that that is appealing to me. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I've done about fifteen of those eyes, and each piece. As I'm working on it, I'm thinking about the next one and the one after that. Mm -hmm. um, this one's called Symbiosis. Mm -hmm. And um, I, um, looking at his picture, um, getting to know him a little different, and because I didn't know him at all. Um, what a unique idea for a family. Yeah. Now, the other thing I've always been attracted to are your bracelets as well. So just share a little bit about these. Well, most of these are um, recycled belts. Mm -hmm. um, although in the case of this piece and this one and that one, they were um, leather that I bought and tooled myself, dyed myself. Um, and these, of course, have the mosaics with mm -hmm. little tiny ceramic um, tiles on them. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a case of I'm doing one, and while I'm working on one, I'm thinking about the next one and the mm -hmm. next one. And uh, the next thing you know, I have 30 of them. Yes. So do you find that you get involved in one art form and do a lot of that and then move on? Or yes. Do you, or do you skip around between the different? I tend to focus on one art form for about three or four months, and uh, maybe longer. Mm -hmm. And. Um, and that's my primary focus. It doesn't mean I'm not doing some mosaic work while I'm doing um, some of these pieces here, but I've really taken to mixed media lately, and um, not so much a painting type mixed media, um, but of a mosaic nature. There's a piece here um, that I would consider mixed media okay. um, mosaic. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so what are you focusing on at the moment? That kind of work right there. And the um, shrines, because I have a number of commissions for people, um, family members. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's a challenge, and I feel a real responsibility to the people who have asked me mm -hmm. 
-hmm. to do one for them, whether it's a pet or it's a person. Yeah, and I mean, I sense that in talking to you. I can feel the sincerity and, and, and knowing you. So this year, as we know, Heather, is the 25th anniversary yes. of the Apples and Art Tour. Where are you going to be uh, during the tour? I'll be at the Grind on mm -hmm. 2nd Street East, mm -hmm. next to the library, with Aaron Doherty. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, that's another thing I like to hop around. I've never been in the same location one year after another. Um, I hope that in that way I get to introduce myself to more people mm -hmm. and um, maybe a different audience and to meet people um, that might not make the or have the time or make the effort to go to my home, for instance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and the other thing with the grind is they have, through Yak, um, have had my artwork hanging on their walls. And so I'm hoping that it will be fun for the people who are regulars at the at the grind to meet one of the artists whose work hangs on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Well, I do encourage you, those of you who are on the tour, to go to the grind to see Heather's work. Uh, it is truly unique and unlike anyone else you'll see on the tour. And as you can see, there's such a, a lovely variety, although there's always that common theme of real creativity and color and, and, and so on, and you'll really enjoy it. So thank you, Heather, so thank much you. for agreeing to join us today. Thanks.